Hello, everybody. Here's another quick question and answer. So in my last newsletter, uh, I gave you a series of questions that I answered in our live classes. And one of the questions was about the short O and A-W pronunciation. And Peter uh, from China, who's in my eight-week speaking course, he also asked the same question. He said, I cannot recognize the pronunciation, I'll fix his spelling there, of O in this word, this word, da da da, da and O-U-G-H, da 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 da, da. They all sound the same. So that's a great, excellent question. And these blue ones are called the short O pronunciation. So as American children, when we go to school and we learn reading, we learn about the short O, the long O. We learn different pronunciations. So we learn this is the short O. And this is the A-W pronunciation. And like Peter said, and many of you probably agree, they sound the same, but they're not. Um, they, they could sound the same for some people. So, for example, if you live in Boston, Boston, Massachusetts, in the United States, uh, the short O and the AW sound many times do sound the same. But in most of America, no, they're different. This is the short O, and the sound is ah. Your mouth is very open, very, it's just open as much as possible. Your tongue can be anywhere. My, I'll put my tongue up. Ah. I'll put my tongue straight. Ah. I'll put my tongue out. Ah. I'll put my tongue down. Ah. Ah, 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 ah. The tongue is not going to affect the sound. Ah. It comes right from the mouth and shoots directly out. Ah, so let me make a little drawing here. These are your upper teeth, the inside of your mouth, and these are your lower teeth, and then the inside of your mouth and your tongue, okay? So again, for the short O pronunciation, the tongue can be anywhere, but not for the A-W pronunciation. For the A-W pronunciation, you have to try and imagine here. So let's take the tip of our tongue. So we're going to do the tip of our tongue right here, and we're going to push right here. We're going to push, okay? Push hard, All right? Push on the, you can push on the teeth and then slide down, and it's like really hard. It's like bone, right? Bone, bone, bone. But it's, if we keep going down and pushing, suddenly about right here, the skin gets soft. The bone disappears. There's no bone. Okay. This is where you must put your tongue for the short, uh, for the AW pronunciation. You have to put it in the soft part and you must drop the jaw. So it sounds like this. Ah, 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 ah. Now, to you, that still might sound similar, but to the Native American English speaker, they're completely different sounds. So it's very important for you to learn and hear this sound and the differences. So let's do his words here. These are the words from, uh, I think this was the eight-week program task four. Ja, jogging, ah, ah, jogging, not, ah, not. Lot, ah, lot, ah, on, on, pod, podcasting, podcasting. Now let's go to the AW. Stick our tongue down, jaw down. Ought, ought, dog, ah, dog, lost, lost. Now, let me do AW and then short O, just so you can compare the sound. So I'll do an AW green and then a blue so this is uh, A-W green, ought, and then a short O, ought, 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 okay? Big difference. I want you to hear it. You might need to practice a lot. You need to master it. Let's go to this word. Uh, where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Uh, let's go here, and we'll go uh, green and then blue. 
dog, 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 dog. Can you hear the difference? To the American, to most Americans, that's a big difference. Dog, dog, lost, last, lost, last. Okay? So again, the difference between the AW and the short O to Americans is pretty big. In some places, they say, Dog. I lost my dog. They use the short O, especially Boston, even parts of California. But for most Americans, we do keep those sounds separate. So the way to master this difference is, number one, watching a video like this. And then number two, practicing with a coach. Okay, so if you're in the eight-week speaking program or if you're in DDM or PERF, you can do that. You can practice live with a coach. You can practice with me in my AMA classes. Very important. Vowel sounds are difficult to master, but it's very important. Consonants are much easier to master. So if, you're, if you have lots of pronunciation problems, first work on your consonants. Fix your consonants. Then go to vowels. Okay, vowels are tough. So Peter... Uh, and everybody else, I hope you can hear the difference. When we compare, it's easier. Let's just compare everything again. Uh, I'll do a, a short O and AW. Jogging, jogging. Not, not. Lot, lot. On, on. Podcasting, podcasting. They should be very different. The first pronunciation was correct. Now we'll go to A-W and then short O. Ot, at. Dog, dog. Lost, last. Okay? They should sound very different, and uh, I hope that helps. Thanks for the excellent question, and I'll talk to you soon.